I'm Sean Davis with STL Tree Services. Zach Belinsky, Chris Wheel. Um, I guess about three or four years ago, I got talked into buying a lift, something I didn't think I could afford. Chris here, my buddy, said, uh, you need a lift. You can't afford a lift. Well, I learned you can't afford not to have one, so we bought three. <laughs> so, they asked us to uh, explain how they benefit us. Um, they've changed the industry completely. Changed everything about everything we do. So, it's here to kind of tell you about them. We started out with a 69A, 75 foot working height, I believe. First one we had, awesome, neat. Didn't know how to use it. Didn't like it at first. Thought we could climb everything faster, safer. Took a long time. Jason told me to be patient with him. I said, well, all right, we'll keep trying it. Fast forward, we have three of them. Nobody's put their climbing gear on and how long? Twice a year? Twice yeah. a year. Sometimes that's because because it's in the backyard and just quicker to run up there. But uh, since we don't climb, we've been able to get recertified on our insurance. Probably save 25% on our work comp. Um, reasons being, much safer. Any climber that says he can climb and the lifts aren't as safe, I, I challenge them. Our ground guys now can take trees down. Suddenly your best ground guy can get up and cut a tree down if your climber calls in or sick or <laughs> can't make it into work. So but I'd say one of the great benefits is crane jobs, Zach here. I mean, how do you feel about climbing a tree versus using a tupin with the tree? Yes. We, we crane them into the backyards all the time, yep. all the time. And it's just, it works really well, especially the, the 92, which is over there. That works out great. Yeah, a lot of guys might feel like, well, if, if you're using a crane, if you're using a crane, you can't get the lift in there usually, you know, it's tight access, but like he just said, it's pretty cool. If you go to STL Tree Services YouTube page, you'll see we crane all of our equipment and jobs all the time. Pretty neat, mm -hmm. pretty neat sight to see, yeah, so. And you're out of the way. Yeah, from absolutely. A, from a sales perception, it's our perspective rather, it's easy, it's easy to sell. These things are uh, only needing a 40 inch gate to get in. Uh, if we ever come across that uh, gate that uh, just isn't wide enough, 99% uh, of the customers are okay with us taking their fence down and, and putting it back up for them. Um, the footprint that they leave in the yards is rather minimal for the size of the machines weighing 9,000 pounds. Uh, the rubber track system is, is really good for uh, spreading the weight uh, throughout the machine so that the impact on the yard, uh, so that's a huge selling point. Uh, one of, another big selling point for me is that, you know, a lot of trees that we do are near dwellings or structures and um, we could take those trees down a lot safer by being up in one of these lifts rather than having one of our guys up in the tree having to hang on to their rope to make sure they're, they're safely in the tree, cut the, cut the branch, be able to, to hold on to the branch while it takes its descent down to the ground. Uh, so. You know, a lot of people, they're they're on board with uh, with safety, and uh, this this whole package right here with uh, our guys being uh, in a harness inside of this basket, uh, navigating through trees and into trees and into uh, compromised areas uh, rather easily. Um, so that's a huge selling point. So I and Chris, I, like you said, not to cut you off, but. Uh, the, the great thing is, is everybody's like, well, I still pay my climber. I still got to buy a lift. Now all this extra expense for what these cost a month and the amount of jobs you can do a month, you can easily roll that cost into there. And as Chris said, they, the customer is usually receptive of the extra cost to make sure that your guys get home safe for dinner that night. Absolutely. So, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it feels like an expense at first, but it is a sales point that, uh, that we can sell. So. So piggybacking on Zach, we got this uh, 92 over here, which has got a hundred foot reach. Um, uh, we have been coming across uh, li larger trees than what the uh, 75 foot capacity machine could could handle. So um, we were leaving a lot of uh, work out there that we weren't able to touch. So as Sean mentioned, that was a uh, rather large purchase and uh, one that I thought uh, would kind of put us, uh, it would sit 
is what I was concerned about. But uh, that machine, uh, when making the schedule, uh, is on the crew every day and has worked every day. And we just work our schedule so that uh, it's doing front yard jobs. Uh, that machine is a little bit quicker, so it's able to uh, move up and down uh, a little more rapidly than the 69. Uh, it does not have the two-point pivot point that the 69 does. We found that that lift is incredibly nimble and capable. So mm -hmm. okay. um, that was our biggest concern of buying that lift when we researched lifts. Big um, removals, that's the, that's the ticket. Yeah, big removals, but he's not being double articulating, um, you know, double knuckled. That thing stances so high in the air, it shoots right over the house, a single-story house, doesn't it? I yeah, mean, and then we can stance mm -hmm. in the driveway and get a tree. 58-foot side reach on that thing is incredible. The stability on the 92 yeah. at 80 feet. Do you, do you feel safe up there and oh, whatnot? Yeah, it doesn't move yeah. at all. Yeah, it's yeah. a very solid machine. But that's our specialty is large tree removal. And 26 years ago, Chris was, he was uh, working part-time here and there with us back in the day. and. Uh, a 75 foot lift would have got you to the top of most of the trees in Missouri, it seemed like, you know. Um, when we bought the 69, we quickly realized the trees were doing, we needed the 92. So that was a huge upgrade and it's just been an absolute mm -hmm. amazing machine. Zero problems. And then uh, th these, these, these come with a two year warranty. Um, we are uh, adamant about doing the yearly inspections and having them certified every year. Um, we have them uh, serviced as needed uh, through Vermeer. Um, whatever we uh, are down, uh, Vermeer, Jason and his team is absolutely amazing in regards to getting us back on the road uh, as soon as possible, whether that be coming to our uh, job site or uh, us coming to them and, and dropping it off. Answering every phone call from the three or four people that yeah. start calling as soon as we have a problem, which is rare now. Um, yeah, they've been unbelievable. What was, uh, who, was it Jason that met you or Chris on a Sunday? Mm-hmm. Met Chris. Jason met Chris. Yeah. Met Chris on a Sunday to get us apart off of a new machine to get us going for Monday morning to finish a job when we had failure. That's just incredible. Yeah. And that's how, that's how Jason and Tyler and, um, Quentin, Quentin, it's Vermeer <laughs> Midwest have been amazing. All these machines you see, they're all brand new machines. They all diesels. Everything's got issues this, these days. Um, when something happens, instantly. They either have us another machine, they have us apart, they run us apart, we run and meet them somewhere. Unbelievable service. That's why I wanted to put all this stuff in the picture. They, we, anything they sell that we need, we're buying from there, 100%, hands down. And as far as Tupin, and they're, they're, you know, them standing behind the product, they've been pretty good about that too. Yeah, they? there you go. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Tupin themselves, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've had a few problems, nothing crazy, but everything that's, you know, wasn't our fault, they've, They've still behind us. So. Without Tupin back in Vermeer, Vermeer would have their hands tied and they have absolutely right, come through. Right. For the record, this is number four. That's our newest one. That's number four that we've had. We no longer have four, we have three. Um, again, these machines are new to the industry. They're developing them, they're getting better and better. Uh, they're making them a little more rigid for tree guys. Tree guys are pretty hard on stuff. I think we'd all agree on that. Um, they weren't originally developed for our industry, but they're making the transition and they've definitely found a spot in our company. Mm -hmm. STL Tree Services on YouTube, very primitive YouTube channel, but you can go on there and get the gist of what we do, which is uh, pretty amazing in person. So, and we wouldn't be doing these jobs without these lifts. <laughs> no, we, we would. I would have retired by now, for yeah. sure. Well, you know, and with getting these lifts, it really truly has put us in a different level. It's pushed okay. us, you know, from doing you know this great work up i mean up to here it's just it's, it's unreal so thank you jason yeah thank you yeah thank, thank you for mere midwest yep.